Warning, the following video is so manly that it can make a woman grow a beard. So if you are a little Justin Bieber, proceed with caution. Today I'm bringing you my top 10 most retarded and also useless perks ever made in Call of Duty in the Call of Duty series. Now, not all the perks on this top 10 are completely useless. Some of them have value, but the thing is, because other perks were on the same tier and they had, uh, and they were like 10 times better, for example, Juggernaut, Stopping Power and stuff like that. Because those perks were on the same tier, uh, people forgot about, uh, you know, the, the perks with less value and uh, they became useless. So that's one of the reasons why those perks, even though you, you might be like, oh my, but that perk is not completely retarded. You can actually, it has some value. You can counter this or, or, counter, or counter that. But the thing is, it's not important to counter this or that because no one really, no one really uses those things, right? So, uh, I mean, you will, you will understand what I'm talking about. So let's take a look at my top 10 people. I tried to choose at least one perk from all Call of Duties. And in number 10, we have Hardwired. And the hardwired makes you immune to counter UAVs and EMPs. But the thing is, who the fuck uses the counter UAV and the EMP? No one. At least I never see people using those perks. So uh, I can count in one hand the amount of times that I've ever used this perk. Plus, it's on the same tier as toughness and fast hands. I would never use hardwired instead of toughness or fast hands. And, um, I mean, I can see it being useful against EMP grenades, but I have a better counter against EMP grenades. I just leave the lobby and I find a new one with men playing the game. That's what I do. In number 9, we have Hardened from Black Ops 1. And this one is not completely useless. I mean, it's, it's FMJ pretty much. It increases bullet penetration and uh, it uh, makes extra damage, it allows you to make, to make extra damage to enemy aircraft and uh, turrets. Now, again, you don't really need to shoot through walls, I mean, you're not gonna use a perk to allow you to shoot through walls, uh, and uh, you're not gonna use your gun to shoot at helicopters and sentry guns. I mean, against sentry guns it could actually be useful, but you can just throw a stun grenade and a knife at the sentry gun. So, uh, and uh, to destroy enemy aircraft, you use your Strela missile, so this perk is completely useless. Uh, because, I mean, you also have sleight of hand, steady aim. I would never remove sleight of hand to use hardened. I mean, it's fucked up, it's crazy. In the number 8, we have Recon from World at War. And what this perk does is it exposes all enemy tanks, dogs and artillery on the radar. Now, the thing is... W tanks are only available in certain maps so whenever you play that those maps you're you are already expecting tanks and when people shoot at tanks at enemy tanks they will be tagged on the radar or if the tank is close to you uh, it will be tagged on the radar and the, the thing is people cannot be stealthy while using tanks so you can see a tank you can see a tank from a mile away it's big and it's loud i mean you don't need to, you don't need it to be tagged on the radar doggies it also don't need the doggies to be tagged on the radar because uh, the doggies in World at War are uh, useless pretty much. You get like two, three kills. It's a seven kill streak. They're not diabolic. They're not on steroids like the dogs from from a Black Ops 2. Um, so you, if you have, uh, and if you have, uh, you can shoot them very easily. They will not bite you. They will uh, attempt to lick you. Uh, to death and that's why you only get like one or two kills because sometimes they find campers and the campers don't really notice that they're being licked by a dog and it takes a little bit of time to get killed by a, a licking dog but uh, they, they, get the dog, they get the job done if you don't move um, if you have uh, if you have uh, what's the word extreme conditioning you can run around in circles and the dogs will never be able to kill you I mean it's fucking retarded you don't need the perk because of dogs and um, the enemy artillery, come on man, that thing takes like 7 seconds to start bombing the map. I mean, you deploy it and then it takes 7 seconds to start bombing the map. Plus the, uh, the, the commander or whatever tells you that there's an enemy artillery inbound. So you already know that you have sec 7 seconds to hide. So you don't need no perk to counter these 3 things. Next we have ICU from Call of Duty Ghosts. And the, the reason why I find ICU useless is because... You die so fast in Call of Duty Ghosts that you have no time to regen your health. Therefore, I mean, what's the point of using this if you if you don't even see uh, if eight out of ten times you don't even see your uh, red screen, right? If you're a if you're a camper, if you sit 
you know behind cover this and that all game i can see this being useful because campers they never die even though you're shooting at their head um they get shot they hide behind the barrel they duck down uh, i mean this can be useful useful for campers but for people normal players it's fucking useless next and plus i mean for the same cost two points you have like marathon sleight of hand you have much better perks next we have from a, also from world at war gas mask and this was the beginning of a tactical mask which they made in uh, Black Ops 1, which is one of the best perks ever made. But the gas mask from World at War, it only, it only makes you immune to Taboon gas. No one uses Taboon gas. And even when people use Taboon gas, um, you, don't, you don't get killed by it. I've never been killed by a Taboon gas uh, grenade. And uh, it's useless. It, it hurts you a little bit. It hurts your character a little bit. You start like <coughs> vomiting and bleeding out of your eyes, this and that. Uh, you can just back out, get the fuck out of the taboon gas, go around it, and it's that easy. It's useless. Next we have Shades, also from World at War. And Shades reduces the glare effects of uh, signal flares. Again, no one uses the fucking signal flare. And even when people use it, it just makes a, it's just, it's just a bright light. And you cannot see through it. That's it. That's all it does. You cannot see what's on the other side. It's like a smoke grenade. Do you have to use a perk to counter the smoke grenade? No. You either go around the smoke or you pass through it. Same thing with the signal flare. You don't need no shades. In fourth place, we have uh, Second Chance from Black Ops 1. And the reason why, I mean, this perk is completely useless. It's the most noobiest perk, noobish whatever perks, uh, perk ever made. It's useful for noobs that cannot get any kills. I mean, they're running around, they're crouch walking around with their little light machine guns, their little default classes, because they don't know how to create a fucking class. And uh, they're always getting killed, but for some reason when they go into second chance, they have like one second of invincibility, and uh, that allows them to get one kill, and uh, for and that way they, uh, I mean, they can finish the match with five kills, which is extremely, extremely awesome for them. And uh, I mean, when you use this perk, let's say that you go into second chance, you kill a guy, okay, you get one kill, but the thing is, until you die, until you bleed out completely, you will stay on second chance squealing like a little female pig on the ground for 30 seconds and if no one revives you which is what i do i never revive these motherfuckers actually i use enemies in second chance as bait which is epic uh, if no one revives you you will stay 30 seconds on the ground and let's say that you die 10 times so you stay 30 seconds on the ground 10 times which makes like five minutes so you'll, you will spend more time squealing like a little pig on the ground than actually playing the game so this play, this perk is completely retarded next we have blast shield in third place and we're entering the uh the top three here um uh, blast shield from mw3 is a retarded and uh, i mean it's a good perk on paper but when you use it it's completely garbage because it doesn't give you protection against uh, explosives and it doesn't give you protection against uh, stun and uh, stuns and flash grenades so uh, i mean it's supposed to be flag check and then tactical mass combined but it doesn't do anything using this and using sleight of hand for example will give you the same protection against explosives and against uh, against uh, uh, stuns and, fl and flash grenades it will give you the same ex the same protection because this part doesn't work it's broken in second place uh, we have scrambler from mw2 and scrambler i mean who the fuck uses this perk people it's it's crazy unless you're trolling unless you're having fun uh using stupid class setups no one uses this it uh, jams the enemy radar when they are close enough and it delays enemy claymore explosions now this part is actually useful but the thing is the radius of the scrambler is very tiny very tiny very small so when you start jamming an enemy radar they know that you are close they know that you that you are nearby so what they do is they sit in the corner and they wait you for you to pass by so using this park is like saying to the enemy that you are nearby that's uh, i mean i'm here come kill me yo sit in the corner wait for me to pass like a dumbass and shoot me in the back that's <laughs> that's what happens when you use this park and finally the winner the most useless because all the, the perks that I mentioned to you guys, 
even though they're retarded, even though they're useless, they actually have a little, a little bit of value. But this one in first place is the, the worst ever made. Eavesdrop from Call of Duty 4. It allows you to hear nearby enemies voice chat. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck do you want to hear the enemy voice chat? I could see this being useful when you play competitive, but it wouldn't be allowed, uh, probably. When you're playing on pub matches, most of the time people don't use uh, headsets in Call of Duty 4 at least. And uh, when they do, it's not that, it's not that they're gonna be uh, all tactical with callouts and all that stuff. They're not gonna, you're not gonna hear anything useful. And the thing is, I, I thought that with this perk, you could hear the enemy chat, you know, all the time. But you can only hear them if they're nearby. If the enemy is nearby and if they're using a headset. So it's completely retarded, people. <laughs> I've never seen any use, anyone using this perk. And um, I think I used, it, I used it once to uh, see if it worked. But no one was uh, using a... Uh, a headset so I, I mean it was uh, useless I had to play I had to switch classes because I I was playing without a perk I only had two perks if you use this perk instead of playing with three you're only playing with two and uh, I mean this is my least people uh, don't forget to leave your uh, your useless perks in the comment section below I will see you next time peace